Hey, Earthly Virgos, this is your message for today. I hope it resonates with you. Take what you need and leave the rest. Thank you all for joining this new channel. I appreciate you. Okay, messages for the Virgos, let's roll. What are your messages for today, please? Starting with the sun card, the most happiest, positive card in the deck. What do you have to be so happy about, Virgos? What do you have to be so happy about? Got the four of pentacles. Hold on to your happiness. If you're happy, hold on to it, okay? Don't let nobody steal your, your joy, okay? Got the ten of wands, okay? You're, you're leaving the bad times behind, okay? It's like holding on to the good times and letting the bad times go away. Let the bad, let the bad times, the bad vibes, the situations or whatever, let them pass away uh, like 2020 is about to do, okay? You got the wheel. It's like you are, are, are superseding your past heartaches and pains and you're leaving the past behind, okay? We got the moon card. Okay, we got you running away. Uh, it's like you're catching up with your higher self, okay? Your higher self wants you to just say, look, it's time for you to take charge of your life. It's time for you to be open and willing to accept the good things that are coming your way, okay? It's like you packing your shit and you you saying we we head out so we going somewhere else. We leaving all the negativity behind. We're not going to take negativity into 2021. Okay, we're planting our seeds of greatness. We're going to allow ourselves to achieve greatness, to achieve a higher level of happiness. Okay, getting it, giving, getting everything you're wanting. Okay, four of cups. It's like. 2020 has been like a rough year for a lot of us. I lost my mother in November. You all know that if you've been following me on my other channel, you know. Uh, so it's, it's like 2021 was a bit, I'm sorry, 2020 was a bitch of a year. <laughs> okay, so it's time for, for, for Virgos to really, really say, look, I, I want happiness in my life. I want to go places. I want to do something. I want to do something differently than I did the last few years of my life, especially for 2020. I'm ready for 2021 to come in and I'm ready to experience happiness. Ready to, exp it, it, I'm just ready for happiness. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for the Virgos. It's like you you packing up all of the dark shit that's, that's happened in your life, all of the negativity, the passing away of relatives or friends or whatever it is that you've been through, and you're you're ready to to just pass and, and you're ready to be happy. It's like you're burying the, the the darkness that have taken place in your life and you're ready to for, for supreme happiness. Okay. It's like you're not accepting anything negative anymore. You want to you want to you want to settle for the the rainbow instead of the darkness in your life. You tired you tired of it. You tired of all the darkness in your life. And you got you moving on. It's like I'm 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 ready to just thrive. I'm ready to grow. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be happy. It's all about you being happy. It's all about you finding your happiness in this world. Okay. You're tired. You're probably bored. You're tired. You're sick and tired of being bored. You're sick and tired of being tired. You wanted to put yourself out there and do something you never thought that you can do. This is you. Uh, feeling your inner peace, feeling your inner emotions, allowing whatever it is that's going on inside of you to grow, to show, to shine. Okay. Listening to your inner truth, your inner self, saying your inner compass, your inner guidance. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do something different for me. I'm ready to show myself that I can actually do this and, and not feel fearful. It's like you're getting re-energized by the sunlight. The sunlight is like kind of like you charging up your phone. You you having to plug your charger. It's like the 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 sun is your charger and it's ready for you to move on with your life. Because the universe is tired of seeing you suffer. Tired of seeing you you you're in pain and crying and 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 and, and in hardship. Okay, it's time for you to forego your pain and find your happiness. Okay, find your happiness, right on, and find your wish fulfillment. It's, it's there. Okay, you got the Ace of Wands. You tapping, you know, allowing your 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 third eye chakra to come shining through, being guided by your intuition, being guided by your inner truth. Okay, but it's something about the sunlight. The sunlight is telling you. That everything you ever wanted is already inside of you. I want you to, to go within and fill up all of your vessels from the inside and pour out 
yourself in abundance of blessings because they're there. The universe, the sunlight is shining on you for your glory, for your benefit. And it wants you to know that it's introducing you to your happy place. Whether that's with somebody, whether you're single, whether you're relocating to somewhere else, whether you're leaving people behind who no longer uh, resonate with your life. This is you communicating with people and telling people you want to do something different with your life. It's time for you to make a move. Maybe you're having to find the courage to leave town, to do something different, to start your own business, to leave people alone who you really care about but they no longer serve the higher glory of your good or of your benefit. So it's time to let this person go. Okay. And it's, <clears throat> somebody likes Skittles. <laughs> I'm hearing taste the rainbow. And, and, but you you got a lot going on right now. 2020 has been a bitch of a year. So you have been through some ups and downs in 2020. And it's, it's like, you can't, you, you can't keep on going through this dark place anymore. You got to find a way out of the darkness. And that's what you're doing. You're packing your shit up and you're finding the dark places out of, you're finding the places out of the darkness, even though you're in that moment right now. Yes. But don't go into 2020. I'm sorry. Don't go into 2021 doubting yourself or don't not thinking that you're able to to pull this off because you can because you can okay I'm going to pull a crystal card for you Virgo give me a crystal card for Virgo please for this reading for them to find their happy place please spirit give me a crystal for Virgos please so they can find their happy place crystal Card for Virgos so they can find their happy place. We have the Ronadite for you, the Ronadite. That's your crystal for this reading. I just want to read to you what it says. It's a palette, a, a palette of deep pink and black Ronadite. Gets its name from the Greek word ro, the, the Greek I can't even talk, y'all. It gets its name from the Greek word for rosy. Who needs it? Potential what Potential wasters, those deeply sighing, I hate my job. And this is like a Sagittarian, um, a Sagittarian crystal. Okay. And where do you put it? Against your open heart, begging the universe to tell you what the fuck you should be doing with your life. Huh. Be happy. The universe wants you to be happy. And this is just amplifying what we were saying in your reading. Again, put it against your heart, begging the universe to tell you what the fuck you are doing with your life. When should you use it, Virgo? When the cubicle life has got you down. When it's time to drop the people pleasing facade and start doing something that really lights you up, lights you up like the sun, okay? When you're ready to use your real unique powers to actually make this rapidly spinning planet a more beautiful place. And what do you got to do? Go with your heart. Go with your heart. And this is the universe. It's, it's like the destiny of the universe shining its, its gentleness and its greatness on you. So you can find your place in this world, okay? Give me a few more messages, please, for Virgo. Where are they going with the sun for 2021, please? 2021, please, Spirit, for the Virgo. Where are they going for 2021? And we have here, taking the next steps. Bold and ambitious ambish, ambish, ambitious choices. Uh, partner, partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans and continuing to move forward. You're not giving up in 2021. It's like you're moving forward. The universe wants you to keep moving. Follow your dreams. Follow your destiny. If you want to start a business, leave a job and start a business. Maybe you have to partner up. Okay. Messages for Virgos, please, Spirit, for 2021. What messages do we have, please, for 2021 for Virgos? With the happy part, the sun, being more positive for Virgos. And we have here, right now, you're working too hard, maybe too many hours, doing some worrying too much. A time for you to balance your work life and your and your private life. Uh, let others help you, Virgo. You may have some health problems due to stress. Stop trying to do everything on your, on your own and be willing and open to receive help, but also be willing to ask for it, okay? And we have the two of swords. You know, you're being unable to make a decision because you don't like asking for help. You think you, that you can do every damn thing by yourself. Follow you rather follow your own heart uh, rather than trying to make others happy. 
You know, what you need to do is try to make yourself happy because you spend so much trying to do for others that you forget about yourself and stop overanalyzing everything and everybody's so doggone much. You're very critical of yourself and you're critical of others. Give yourself and give others a break. Allow some people to come in and help. Just because somebody wants to come in and help you and help you, Virgo, doesn't mean that they're trying to take away from you, that they're trying to steal from you. Some people are legitimate. Some of you may be having some kind of headaches, tension headaches, maybe migraines, or mostly headaches in the front of your head near your third eye. Be careful with that, okay? Give me one more card, please, for Virgo. Something to about stop telling people your business. They don't need to know every damn thing. Okay, Virgo. One more card, please. Somebody needs to eat more bananas for potassium. Maybe get your potassium levels up. That's what I'm running my head. And uh, something about honey. Eating more, ingesting more honey is what I'm hearing. Maybe a tablespoon of honey or put honey with some uh, apple. apple Honey, apple cider vinegar every day. Oh, that's what somebody's starting to do. Maybe doing some research on that. Okay, one more part, please, from Virgo. And we have the Emperor. Logic organization will increase your success. You know, taking charge of a situation and accepting a leadership role. Being a boss, whether you or a male or female, really, really starting your own business, your own company, something small. You may do it alone or start it with, with a person, you know, with, that you really, really trust, you know, in your life, uh, making something of your own. It's like here you may be partnering, partnering with this person. You have the same idea. But if you don't trust this person, you may have to go at it alone because this is this is your oyster, your world, your idea. Don't let anybody steal your idea. Don't let anybody steal your joy. If you can't find somebody to help you with this beautiful idea, you have to change the world. You have to do it all by yourself. Virgo, you like doing shit by yourself anyway, so we don't. Give me one more card. Oh, we got the dreamer. Okay, a new start. Trust yourself. Push aside your fears and take that leap of faith. Okay, you may have to leave somebody behind and take the leap of faith and do the shit your damn self. This is your life. This is your dream. This, you are the squirrel, so go get your nut. <laughs> However that means to, to you, you know, you're the squirrel. Go get that damn nut. Mm-hmm.